everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and I review perfumes. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on my thumbnail. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Please leave me a flower down below to show that you care and show me the love. You know that the algorithm loves it. If you can subscribe or leave a comment or give me a thumbs up, that would be wonderful. And if you can't, I totally understand. Today I'm going to talk about 10 designer perfumes that are worth purchasing. Normally the, the good thing about designer is usually they are more um, economical and also they're usually mass appealing, which perhaps that's not what you're looking for, but at the same time they've been tested and often have stood the test of time. So they have a large following, which means that they're good, which can be good, can be bad, but without without further ado, the first one is Lilac Path by Erin. So this is for those, see this gorgeous bottle? These, this is for those that really love the smell of lilacs. Lilacs is one of my most favorite smells. They grow behind my house. Totally, totally gorgeous. So this is a white and red floral. It's a mix. This, is, the designer created this to replicate the smell of her grandmother's garden which i think is beautiful and it is a beautiful beautiful smell it's got jasmine lilac angelica which gives it a little bit of greenness and makes it not too sweet honeysuckle orange blossom and galbanum it is a gorgeous perfume i love this one so much the next one is Gris dior so this one maybe not so economical but totally worth it. This is a rose perfume that has patchouli, oak moss, bergamot, it has amber, wood, and sandalwood. Now, if you're not into patchouli, this is not the perfume for you. But if you like patchouli, if you like things like Coco Mademoiselle, then you will love this. And I love this and I think patchouli gets a bad name and I get it if it's not your thing I totally understand but this one is gorgeous so don't run out and blind buy it because it's a little more costly but do run out and try and smell it because it's so beautiful the next one oh I'm going for two costly ones in a row but this one is Swamalkite by Dreis Van Noten so this is a perfume that's really gotten a lot of um, talk the last year. It is a gorgeous, fruity, warm, cocoa-y perfume. It's got, it's got fruit, citrus up top, it's got rose, chestnut, and cocoa, and it has a, a note called silk, which who knows that, but it's totally elegant, like really, really elegant, cozy, soft and you will smell amazing it has the most amazing trail and this one is unique you will not smell like anyone else the next one is romance by ralph lauren this has been out forever it's from 1998 and it was made by harry fremont i actually really like the bottle i like my fingerprints are all there i like the simplicity of this but this is a rose daisy ginger freesia Lily, let's see what else, white violet, carnation, lotus flower, white musk perfume. It is a white and pink flower balm. There's a lot of citrus in here. It's, it's very, very pretty and I get it. It's old, I get it, but it's still pretty. It's very uplifting. It's very light, it's like fresh, summery, elegant, rich girl, beautiful. Wear this and you won't smell like anyone else because no one wears this anymore. The next one I've talked about at length, this was definitely one of my top 10 forever, Coco Mademoiselle. Again, it, a lot of people say it's like your grandmother, but like it's not that old. It's like 22 years old, but your mother maybe, but I love this citrus, woody, patchouli, rose, in my nose it smells amazing I love it and I if you don't I get it I totally understand but I love this one so go to the bay or wherever you go and try it out because it's gorgeous the next one is one for summer I love 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 this one someone commented that this is for uh, the Canadians talk about this I don't know maybe it's true I love this one this is bronze goddess it's so, so beautiful. It's white florals, 
coconut, vanilla. So it's tiare flower, coconut, vanilla, amber, and bergamot. It smells so good. So good. It's coconutty, but a dry coconut. So there's a maybe a tinge of sunscreeny in it, but it's beautiful. So gorgeous. I love this so much. I never want I I had lost this. I thought I lost it. I found it in a cupboard in the way back. So I'm super happy I have this. If I hadn't already sprayed myself so much today, I'd put it on, but definitely going to be wearing that soon. The next one is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This is the 2021 version. So this one is the one that is vanilla, powdery, rose, floral. I love, love, love this one. I have tried the new 20, I think it's 2024 one. I don't like it as much. I like this one. It has apricot, a little peach. I don't normally like peach. Don't, but I like this one. Vanilla, musk, tonka bean, benzoin. And the top is iris, peony, and lily of the valley. It is totally gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. My husband commented on this when I had sprayed it in my bedroom and he came in. And he's like, wow, that smells really good. So you get a definite love on that one. Whenever someone comments on your perfume, doesn't that immediately make you love it more? Like if you liked it a lot, all of a sudden you're like, I love it. Only because someone said they loved it and they, you smelled so good. This one is Chanel number no. 19. Again, I get it. Maybe a bit older, but what am I gonna do? I'm older, right? This smells, this literally smells like, like my grandma. And I, I don't know why, cause she didn't, this is in, what year is this? 2011. So there was Chanel number no. 19 that was like from the 70s. There was Chanel number no. 19. This is Poudre. There's been Eau de Perfumes. There's been different, um, what do you call it, versions of it. This one has a lot of iris. It's powdery. It's earthy. So the notes are Galbanum, Neroli, Orange, Iris, Jasmine, and then Vetiver, Musk, and Tonka Bean. And the thing that, the thing that I love about this is like, the iris is like this soft, buttery dry down, and the galbanum is like this earthy green overtone. So there's like a juxtaposition, but it's it's seamless, it's smooth, and literally it smells like my grandma, and she always smelled amazing. And I don't know what it is. I think I think it might be the galbanum and the iris. I don't know. It smells amazing. So again, go out, smell it. Um, I hope you love it as much as I do. If not, when I talked about my coconut perfume, someone said I missed this one. I didn't miss it. I had already talked about it a lot, so I sort of put it aside for a while. But Alien Goddess. So this perfume is a flank of the original Goddess, which is a jasmine bomb. This one was released in 2021. So this is a vanilla coconut floral perfume. It has the original jasmine. It has a little bit of heliotrope, but it has coconut water and vanilla. So it again... It's not unlike this one, but this one I would say is more, this one has coconut, which smells amazing. It's more of a watery coconut with a little bit of jasmine, a little bit of citrus. It's really, really pretty. I like this one a lot. I, I think this is a very popular one. I hear people talking about it a lot and they seem to like it even more than the original. There's a new, there's a new, um, alien out called alien hypersense which is more of a throwback to the original alien like a a true jasmine kind of perfume i don't know i haven't tried it yet i might try it when i go out when i go to the mall well not really the mall when i go to shoppers or whatever and then the last one was one of the first perfumes i got when i started to get into perfume like seriously i don't know why i got this one but i love it anyways this is a coconutty vanilla this with almond so this is Hypnotic Poison. This is a flanker of the original Poison. So this one has a lot of notes. It has um, coconut, plum, and apricot. It has rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, lily of the valley. And then the dry down is where you get the milk, vanilla, sandalwood, and musk. It really is a beautiful almondy vanilla. Some people don't like this. Some people get a little bit of... Um, what do you call it, like a plasticky note. Sometimes I get a little bit of that. I'm not getting that today, but maybe my nose blind because I've sprayed like 20 perfumes today. 
I really, really like this one. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's soft, and again, it's been out forever, so you probably won't smell like anyone, which is super nice. Sometimes things, when they're super new, everyone has them on. I'm looking at you back at 540. But then as they become older and they become a little more retro, it's kind of a novelty to wear them and you don't, people are like, oh, what are you wearing? They just don't know. Anyways, Hypnotic Poison, very, very beautiful designer perfume. I hope you've enjoyed my 10 designer perfumes. Please give me a thumbs up if you can and leave a comment. Let me know what uh, country you're from and um, have a wonderful day. I hope you're gonna, I hope you're enjoying your summer and that you have beautiful weather wherever you are. Okay.